Hey folks, uh, we are going to talk urbanization today, uh, and I'll lead us off with a quote from Alexis de Tocqueville, who was a famous political theorist, um, and as he observed cities during the Industrial Revolution, what he said was, from this filthy sewer, pure gold flows. So I'll let you kind of think about that as you move through this screencast, um, but it says a lot about what came out of cities, but also what life was like in those cities during the Industrial Revolution. So your goal for the screencast is, at the end, you should say, I can explain the causes of urbanization as well as the impact urbanization had on cities during the Industrial Revolution. So if you can say that at the end, great. If you can't, well, you need to work on that. So what is urbanization? Quite simply, the urbanization is the growth of cities. It's people moving from, uh, excuse me, moving to cities from the rural areas where many of them used to be farmers, but thanks to the agricultural revolution, uh, many of them did not need to farm anymore, or they lost their jobs due to enclosure. Also, as this urbanization is going on during the IR, the world's population was going up a lot, and we'll see a graphic about that right now. Oh, never mind. Not right now. I already talked about that, though. So, yeah, we're going to see a graphic about the world's population going up uh, right now. So, as you can see, right about the time when the IR hits, huge, huge, huge increase in the slope of the world population graph. Um, and then, you know, we got those crazy colors up on top that are the best guesses of academics for what's going to happen in the future. But you can see where that spike kind of begins to happen. Back to England, though. When the IR began, where did people head in England? Quite simply, they headed to areas where there were manufacturing opportunities, places that they could get jobs. And those areas are uh, highlighted with that kind of cross crosshatch area. And there are some arrows pointing to those spots on the map as well. What does this urbanization look like, though? Well. It wasn't beautiful. There was a lot of pollution. Cities were jam-packed with people. You go from Manchester, England being this kind of bucolic, rural-ish, smaller city to a jam-packed city with lots of, lots of smokestacks and buildings and so-called progress. In fact, Manchester's population quintuples, no, sextupled, in less than 100 years. It was multiplied by six. So this urbanization was very sudden and also very, very severe. So why did this urbanization occur? For push factors and for pull factors. Push factors forced people into cities away from their rural homes. So this was kind of things that were outside of their control. Pull factors were th reasons that caused people to want to move to, from rural areas into urban areas. So the push factors were kind of less, there was less choice involved. The pull factors were, were reasons where people would actively choose to go to these cities. So what were some of the push factors? During enclosures, far, during enclosure, farmers lost their land and had to find a, a way to earn a living. Where are you going to go to earn a living? You're going to go to these cities that are, have these factories where you could get a job. Also, because of the increasing far increased farming efficiency from the agricultural revolution, which we've already talked about, fewer people had to farm. If fewer people are farming, there are more people that are kind of a free workforce because, oh, hey, I don't need to grow crops because it's far more efficient. So how am I going to make money? How am I, how's my family going to eat? You're going to move to a city, and you're going to get a job there. The pull factors were this was a place where people could find work. So with people not having land due to enclosures or not being needed to work on farms because of increased efficiency, cities provide a place to earn money that the rural areas do not did not have. Also, people were paid higher wages to work in factories than they were for farm work. So you could buy better food, you could buy more food, and you could buy better and more clothes for your family if you worked in these factories than if you worked in rural areas. But all is not awesome in these quickly expanding cities. The big problems with urbanization deal with living conditions. Because as these cities expand so quickly, there was no real urban planning that kind of zoned and, and controlled how people and how cities were expanding. So there's no sanitary codes on what to do with wastes, be it like 
you know, going to the bathroom waste or like, you know, I just peeled a potato waste. There's no plan for how these cities developed. There were no building codes, so you could have huge, enormous apartment buildings with tons of people crammed into a tiny space. And there was poor education to non-existent education. Child labor was a huge issue, and children would often go and work in factories and not even worry about going to school at all. Finally, there was very little police protection. Uh, the police forces were vastly overmanned, and there was not really a way for them to go and, and enforce the laws in the areas where people were living. So, your goal today should have been to be able to explain the causes of urbanization and the impact urbanization had on cities. If you're able to do that, great. If you're not able to do that, you should go back and rewatch parts of the screencast or check out your textbook. Thanks.